is the big deal about organ trafficking, and I don't mean crowding frightened children into third world hospitals where their organs are harvested. It's wrong to frighten children, obviously. I'm talking about some Brazilian woman who's decided that she'd rather live out her life in marginal poverty with one kidney than in abject poverty with two. Or hell, some guy in New Jersey who wants a bigger dirt bike. Whatever. In what way is organ trafficking not a logical extension of retail health care? Or are we concerned that legalized organ trafficking might give rise to an industry that profits by or even preys upon human suffering? Yeah, that's prob- Hey, wait a minute. 32-year NSA veteran, Jedi mathematician, and whistleblower William Binney claims that software he developed for spying on the former Soviet Union is being used to spy on American citizens, and that the NSA's new data storage facility in Bluffdale, Utah, has the capacity to store 100 years' worth of the world's electronic communications. You see, according to the NSA's Manual of Definitions and Legal Directives, it is perfectly legal for them to gather and archive any person's email threads, search queries, prescription refills, purchase history, real-time GPS coordinates without justification because intercept, as they define it, doesn't take place until the archived data is accessed by a human being when and if the need to do so arises. Prior to that, it's just you being paranoid. So grow the hell up. If you are really oh truly oh concerned about your privacy and really oh truly oh prepared to do something about it, I see only one course of action open to you. Get off the grid, survivor style off. Change your name, tell nobody what you're doing, buy your camping gear with small unmarked bills, and steal under cover of darkness into the northern Canadian wilderness. Goodbye forever. Enjoy your privacy. Otherwise, as I said, grow the hell up. Privacy, as traditionally defined, is and has been for quite some time an illusion. Oh yeah, shredding your credit card statements is a fine idea. The janitorial industry, as we all know, is a hotbed of identity theft. And popping the battery out of your cell phone as you drive to the motel might make it harder for a private detective to prove that you're cheating on your wife. But privacy? You checked that shit at the door, compadre. Nice underwear. Think of a person you've known all your life. Somebody you like or love. The kind of person you can sit with for hours and say nothing or say whatever comes to mind. Now imagine that you're having a conversation with this person and a nice enough, obviously well-intentioned, relationship expert interrupts you. He steps right in between you and your friend and he tells you that he has come to help you communicate in the way that your friend actually prefers, a way that you are not capable of intuiting. Certainly not a way that you could make up as you go along. He tells you it is vital that you communicate with your friend exactly according to the rules. He tells you that some people spend their entire lives trying with all their might to communicate with just such a friend as yours, and they still get it wrong. So, so terribly wrong. And then, to your everlasting horror, the expert tells you that if you fail to follow instructions, there is the distinct possibility, there is the certainty that your friend will douse you with gasoline and set you on fire. Acadia, I don't care how many rules you break, I will never do that to you. Does any of this sound familiar? You don't even care, do you? Mm -hmm. 